Hello, everybody. Today I'm back with more Disney Mirrorverse. Um, as promised, I have those two uh, crystals that I said I was going to get from the campaign. But with a chance to get the brand new characters, I kind of doubt it. But there is a chance. Some more towards Oogie Boogie, who we got last time. Uh, this could potentially have a new hero in it, I guess. I wouldn't count on that either. But it is possible. Alright, so some towards Rapunzel. She's getting close to those 75. These will not have any characters in them, just talent stuff and, uh, you know, just the basics. Now I've decided to wait on Oogie Boogie until we're out of this new event. And, of course, that uh, goes for all the characters right now. Um, but we will eventually, you know, we will showcase Oogie Boogie. I'm really excited to showcase him personally. Um, but I am patient and I'm willing to wait. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, just focusing on the event. And then I can focus a lot better on Oogie Boogie himself once we're out of the event. So let's get right into it now. I think I spent enough time with that. Um, going back into the second chapter. Uh, let's see. I am already prepared that uh, to know that this is going to crash today. And that's okay. It's okay. Now, the first step when entering a hostile situation is to keep your eyes open and your senses sharp. Eyes open, senses sharp. Okay, I totally approve of taking notes, but there's no time to check notes out there. Some things you just gotta know. Let's go. Oh man, there's a lot. What is even the point of going down there? Oh boy. What? Oh, they're the same. Alright, so basically anywhere you go, there's going to be a long path. Oh, and we are fighting Judy at the end of this. So we'll at least get to see a fractured Judy. Um, I don't... I'll just go up. I'll have to come back to this anyways on my own time, so I might as well just choose one and go. Um, so yeah, either path is just going to take forever. But... This video might end up being longer, but I'm still, um, I really do want to continue doing both stages of the chapter each time. And maybe this will be like my longest video yet, because <laughs> this path really does seem like it's going to take a while. Um, but hopefully this team will do it faster. I should take Buzz out and put, uh, Rapunzel in. She's a lot stronger than Buzz. And hopefully that'll make it go a bit quicker. So when I'm recording this is actually the day after I recorded the last episode, but I'm trying to space it out a bit. Um, you know, these videos are long and I doubt people have time to watch them every day. And also, you might get sick of Disney Mirrorverse seeing it every day and might want to see some other stuff on the other days. So um, I'm still doing these videos, you know, it's just um, I'm spacing them out a bit. And I'm going to be busy for an entire week coming up, so I definitely need to keep scheduling videos anyways let's see I'm not gonna not get the star I'm not gonna go all this way and then not get it so we're gonna do that one um, so far the second chapter looks like it's still in a pretty easy um, part of it compared to a lot of the uh, later stages I'm really hoping that um, I'm able to complete this entire event May won't be able to 100% complete it, but um, I'm at least hoping to get all the way through it. Uh, so basically, since I'm not showcasing um, Oogie Boogie, the purpose of the these next two videos will be showcasing the dialogue in these events, um, the event themselves, because I, I realize that um, more people are going to be paying attention to these videos more than like the Disney Sources Arena and Disney Heroes ones because they can do that themselves where most people don't have access to this game right now 
So I'm one of the few uh, people who are actually playing through everything, and you get to see what that's like. So, uh, th this way, you know, you can still see all the dialogue and everything, even though you're not able to do this event yourself. Alright, all Ian, that was... Well, it's not about how you did, it's about what you did. I kept my eyes open and my senses sharp. Yes, but you also have to fight the fractured. Oh, we've jumped right into the combat portion. Got it, sorry. Okay, the, n the second step to a hostile encounter is, if it looks dicey, wait for backup. What if it always looks dicey? Never mind. Fractured. So... I guess they're taking it as though Ian knows absolutely nothing about combat whatsoever. Um, and that Goofy and Judy are his mentors. Which I don't know about Goofy being a mentor, but Judy I guess makes a lot of sense. Also, I keep forgetting to take Buzz out. I always do that. It's alright. You'll get to see some of Buzz and some of Rapunzel then. Um, in some ways I wish I would have waited to showcase Maleficent as well. But I think it's too late after. Um, I can't really wait to showcase her again because the whole video is literally me using um, Maleficent and me talking about how I was showcasing her. I can't just do that all again. Um, but I wish I would have kept the focus on the actual event. That's alright. Um, but like I said, it'll make for more interesting videos to not only have videos on these events that are brand new, but also to um, have upcoming videos where I'm just going through this, the main story levels um, and showcasing these characters that you might not have seen before. So I think that's a good strategy going forward. Plus, like I said, this is only going to take two videos. Um, after this one, there's just one left, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal either way. Now, I need to get these stars, so I'm not going to be going through the middle ever. Uh, I think I'm okay with doing the harder one. I'm guessing this will have multiple stages. Finally going to remember to put in Rapunzel. Um, when I started out, I didn't really want to use Rapunzel, but as I've been going, she's become one of my strongest heroes, just because, you know, she's the initial hero you get, and they give you a lot for her. Uh, anyways, I don't really have a choice but to have her be really strong compared to the rest of my heroes. So I'm okay with using her, of course, because she is that strong. But um, I've seen videos where people don't recommend using her. I don't remember who they said was the best melee character. It could have been like Scar or something. But um, she's far more leveled up than any of my characters, I think, in terms of strength. Uh, obviously, Belle is the best healer I have. Let's see how Maleficent can do here. I'm not even going to worry about her other enemies. Uh, where is she? Oh, she's just aiming straight for everybody. Alright. I wonder if that works the same too, where you don't even need to be uh, near anybody or aiming at anybody to actually hit them with Maleficent's skill. Maybe that's why uh, it is. It takes up four magic because of that. The this week when I'm recording it, I guess it'd be like the last week for you guys. Um, we had all the Disney games get updated. Um, Disney Heroes started off on Tuesday with Basil, and then on Wednesday we got Gizmo Duck. Oh, hold that thought. Ian, what happened? You're supposed to attack. It looked dicey, so I thought we were gonna, we were waiting for backup. Well, every combat ba uh, looks dicey. You just have to go with what your gut tells you. Goofy, you'll get your turn. Just wait. All right, step three: weigh the risks. You never know where something could go down, and you want to make sure you don't wreck the place. All right, I remember now. Um, Judy and Goofy are gonna take turns showing their mentorship. So this one is fo focused on Judy, and then the next one will be about Goofy. And I'm guessing they're both going to realize that, hey, you need to do a little of both. It's not entirely strategy-based, and it's not entirely uh, what your gut tells you. Um, as I was saying, on Wednesday we got Gizmo Duck in Disney Sources Arena, and then on Thursday we got the update in this game with these three new characters. And clearly this game won in terms of updates. Uh, to be fair, both of the other games had just been updated, so it's not fair to say that um, their updates were weak, because they had just gotten pretty good updates not that long ago. But, um, also in all fairness, you know, 
This game is still in beta, and it got three whole new characters. And that's nothing to scoff at. And you know, they didn't only add characters, they did a lot of other stuff too. I am still disappointed that this game crashes on the regular. Um, and it makes it uh, kind of dreadful to go into recording just because I know I'm going to have to deal with it each time. But uh, here I am still recording, so I guess it isn't enough to change that. Uh, we're fighting Baymax here. Again, one of my favorite characters in this game, just design wise. Uh, I suppose I can talk about the characters that they added because as I had stated in previous videos I thought for sure that they were going to be adding Elsa or Anger in this uh, update and then maybe one more character and instead just got three that we had no idea were coming. Um, but also I need to touch on that as well. Um, I guess there wasn't n no indication that they were coming because if you look at the opening cutscene, they show a bunch of like shadows of heroes. That's also like the thumbnail for my first video on this game. Um, and you can clearly see, well not clearly, but if you look closely, you can see Judy in the background. Uh, hey, not bad. My only note is that you turned your back on a lot of them and let some get behind you. Well, I didn't want to accidentally destroy anything. You said not to wreck the place. Uh, guys, we got bigger fish to, or bigger eggs to fry. Fracture Judy dead ahead. Okay, and remember everything we discussed. Now, let's take me out. I mean, the other me. Oh, you know. Um, so, in the background, you can see Judy. Uh, it was very hard to see, and you probably wouldn't notice. I may want to be able to tell who it is, but now that we know Judy is in, um, it is pretty, pretty easy to tell that she was actually there the whole time. So, she's been planned. Um for a good while at least. Uh, I don't believe Goofy, uh, definitely Ian was not in the background. That was a act, absolute surprise. Uh, but uh, I don't remember, I don't think Goofy was back there. Um, but there are some other silhouettes that we have not seen yet, which I will talk about. Uh, first up, Jack Skellington is back there. You can see him pretty clearly, um, pretty hard to miss actually. Also right next to Judy, it looks like Stitch is back there, which is a pretty uh, clear staple in all these Disney games. They love adding Stitch because Stitch is a pretty uh, big fan favorite. Um, and I think, well I know there's Mickey there, which of course uh, I'm still unsure if they're actually going to make him a full on hero or just be kind of a narrator type. Um, but I thought there was maybe one more that I can't think of, but you can go in, um, my first gameplay video, it has a thumbnail with, um, Sully in it. You can watch that opening cutscene and you, you can pause that there and you'll see all those silhouettes that I'm talking about. Um, all right, so the game crashed right in the middle of what I was saying. Um. Of course it did, but anyways, we're going to get started quest, quest 2, and in the battles, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll continue saying what I was saying. Uh, alrighty, now pay attention, Ian. The only rule you got to remember is there are no rules. So, is that a rule? In which case there are rules? There you go, overthinking again. We gotta just see where luck takes us. So yeah, like I said, the last one is based on Judy's mentor uh, approach. And this one's going to be all about, um, all about Goofies, but I, I guess I really didn't have anything else to say. I was just saying how you could look back at the video, there's the silhouettes there. I was saying that there was this silhouette of a woman that's pretty clear to see, and it doesn't really look like Mulan, but I have to assume that it is Mulan. Otherwise, there's some character that I'm not really sure who it is. She kind of has long hair. It's not um, Rapunzel. And she's not in the game, so I'm not sure who it's supposed to be. And maybe it's none of them, and, um, I'll, you know, that character will come and be like, Oh, that's who that is. Uh, but for right now, I'm not entirely sure who that is. Uh, again, for any context, please go and look at that um, picture if you're curious to see any of these upcoming heroes that we know will be coming, like Jack Sparrow and Stitch, for sure. Uh, 
But like characters like um, Minnie uh, and Ian, of course, we had no idea they were uh, coming. So there still are some surprises, and of course, once they do Jack Skellington and Stitch, uh, there'll, there'll also be surprises from there, really, besides Elsa and Anger. Um, or maybe they'll introduce some more into the dialogue as we get into Act 2, and we'll get some more hints towards future characters. Which is kind of the fun part of um, being able to do this... Uh, to be able to do the the beta version or the uh, soft launch version is that um, is that you can see the the game unrolling as you go and you get a lot more uh, you get to see a lot more characters be introduced as you go whereas when you if you're able to get this game once at least uh, once it releases you'll already see all these characters in there Jack Skellington will already be there Stitch will already be there um, all the videos where I have the updates uh, will just seem like they were there from day one. Uh, and s talking about that kind of stuff just makes me sad about Disney Sources Arena because I had that game in soft launch as well and I could have been way farther in it. Um, there's still characters that were in the base game that I'm still trying to unlock and if I had just played the game like I've been playing this game um, I for sure would have already had them and wouldn't need to waste my time now trying to unlock them. And stuff like that kind of makes me sad and, and that's also why I'm kind of driven to continue going in this game um, at the rate that I am because I want to keep up with it unlike that uh, Disney Sources Arena. Whoa, that took care of them. Did you just fire out real lightning? Technically no. I noticed this fog has a purple tint to it and saw a few star crystals deeper in the heart of the fog. So I figured if the Fog particles are crystalline in nature, they might conduct magic, turning it into lightning. That's great, only problem is when you zap the fractured, you almost got me. Oh, sorry, I just tried the first thing that came to mind, like you said. That's good, but next time, you just gotta focus on hitting only the fractured. I don't think you really need to teach someone that. Obviously, he wasn't trying to hit Goofy. Um, and that kind of goes against Go Goofy's thing of going with the flow. Uh, he's saying he has to think about not hitting him. Uh, I don't know, their arguments are pretty flawed here, if you ask me. And it feels like Ian isn't that stupid. Mm. Let's just use Rapunzel to get him hit. Uh, I, I, I thought about making one of those videos where I, uh, you know, where I say, Oh, I want to see these characters in this game. Um, I did it for Disney Heroes Battle Mode. I did different versions of it for Disney Star Arena and Disney Heroes Battle Mode. Um, and I'd be interested to do it here, but uh, there are just so few characters. It's just like, well, I want everybody, you know? And it's going to be a lot of characters that are already in the other Disney games, which is kind of why I think it might be boring. And also because um, there's no way for me to, like... Um, show a photo or come up with way, uh, ways that they would look in this game because their their looks are so unique um, there's no way that I could do any kind of mock-ups or anything of how the characters would look so I don't really know how a video on that would really work but like I said I do want all those characters that are in those other Disney games I'd eventually want to see here but also a lot of characters that already have series in here, like a lot more Aladdin characters, or, uh, or you know, The Beast, or Mike Wazowski. You know, I'd still like to see all them. Randall Boggs from Monsters, Inc. Um, Davy Jones, and some more of the Inside Out characters other than Anger. Seems like they love adding Anger in, and then no one else. And I'd really like to see the other ones come in as well. And you know, they can do uh, heroes and villains, which makes it interesting. Although clearly it's going to be a lot more heroes than villains, as it typically is. Um, it's kind of hard not to do it that way. I don't think... If they continued adding until they were out of Disney characters, 
they clearly would have way more heroes than villains. Um, that's just how Disney has been. Or like, that's how the series work in general. You're always going to have more heroes than villains, but... Anyways, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. We've gone on for so long here. And I just said everything I wanted to say in the video yesterday. Or the video that I made yesterday. Youch! Sorry, Goofy, I didn't mean to hit you with that spell, too. Maybe next time you should plan ahead. Aw, oh, Judy, he's just, he's still getting the hang of it. He'll get it this time. Goofy just said not to hit him. What are you doing? What, how does that not hitting him? Alright. So as you can see, they have these mystery encounters, kind of, where they don't show you who you're fighting or the power that they have. Which, um, I don't really think matters all that much. If I was seeing who I was fighting, I guess, because it'd be different if they didn't show you at all, and then you wouldn't, like if you wanted to bring in someone that could counter it, um, you wouldn't know who to bring in. But they're not doing that because you, you could see I'm fighting Merida. They showed me who I was fighting once you got up to it. I would never run away from a battle because I could see Merida was coming up. I really don't see the point. I guess the power level is different, but there's really no need to hide the hero either. Um, like I said, I, if I see Merida coming, I'm not going to go, oh my gosh, I need to go the other way. I can't fight Merida. I really don't get the point of the mystery ones. Uh, they're not, plus if it's a mystery, it's not going to be like, um, like if both sides are a mystery, especially, I'm not going to be like, um, well, I, I better go to this side because there's absolutely no reason to do so. I might as well just go whichever side I want, and there's going to be even less strategy in it than, um, choosing a side and once you go it's not like you can back up at either so there's really no point in having it be a mystery in my opinion um, I guess it is an interesting thing to add into the um, level like structure of this game you know it's something different it's just um, sort of unnecessary and unhelpful or not unhelpful the point of it is that uh, it spices things up but I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. It just seems like uh, something that someone thought of that sounded like a good idea, but in retrospect, maybe shouldn't really have been in implemented. I don't know. Maybe they'll do something interesting with it in some ways. For right now, I don't see the point. Alright, we're in the final battle of today. Uh, we're fighting Fractured Goofy. Well, Gore, she sure ain't as handsome as the real thing. Now let's just loose with, now just let loose with what you got, Ian, and the rest will take care of itself. So now that they both mentored me, I wonder how the final chapter is going to go. If like I have to save Goofy and Judy or something, or just more of the same like uh, me finishing up my training, or not me, <laughs> Ian. I guess I feel like I'm Ian in this story. But the uh, clearly the first two were focused around mostly Judy and Goofy, and now probably this final one will focus a lot in on um, Ian finally becoming a guardian, or like feeling like he's ready to become a guardian. I just wonder if like the final battle or final battle will be against like Ian or something. So here's Fractured Goofy. We get to see him in battle. I guess I didn't even talk about um, Fractured um, Judy, I wasn't even paying attention. But you can see him kind of winding up to throw his boomerang. I don't actually see his boomerang going out, but you know, that's what it's implicating, I think. Uh, I wonder how it'll his show his skill. I think he's just aiming straight for us, kind of like Maleficent does. And he's dead. <laughs> it might crash, and if it does, I'm just going to say thank you for watching right now. Uh, and the video will end if it crashes. Uh, I don't think it's gonna. It, it went to the victory pretty quick. It's nice if it did not crash. Oh man, I hit everything except Fractured Goofy. Casting spells without thinking was a bad idea. Sorry I failed you guys. No, we're the ones who failed you, Ian. We're both so sure we're, our way was right, we didn't think about what's right for you. No, you both have been so patient with me. I guess there's just no magic formula that turns you into a guardian. You know, I guess nobody really becomes a guardian. They just realize they've had it in them all along. I guess it's a good way to look at it. Good moral of the story. 
So I guess the final uh, dialogues will be about him um, learning what his style of fighting should be. Uh, which again I think is a mixture of both just doing what feels right and uh, and uh, you know planning it out a little as well. Let's open up this crystal. I think it's just a talent. And all right. Again, I should have a, a crystal that is a chance to unlock the new characters. In the next one so far has not worked out. I don't have any towards Ian, Goofy, or Judy. But we got some towards Scrooge and Minnie finally, which is cool. Anyways, that's all for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.